So I uh, wanted to talk about how to mind map your your game plan. Um, the problem with mind mapping jujitsu is it's so deep and it, it can go so far and you got one node or one circle here that leads to another move, but you've got moves and you've got positions and it, it can be very um, hard to structure. So I came up with a method of note taking for myself years ago that, um, that I have never shown anyone but I think is really useful uh, so I've been sharing it with some of my uh, our higher level competitors lately and I thought it's something that would be useful for everyone so um, this is probably the easiest way uh, quickest way for me to show it so here's an example you'll notice it's not just circles or squares is like each piece has a, a different purpose so um, You'll start with a, a square, that's your position, your meta position. Um, and then you'll have, say, so say this was 93 guard, I have my move one, maybe move two. So moves, techniques, are in circles. So here I have move one that leads to position, the separate position, okay? Uh, so maybe I do this arm drag and I take the back, okay? Now maybe I'm going for the arm drag, but something else happens. So double circle is a situation. The opponent steps up. So the opponent steps up when I'm going for the arm drag, then I'm going to do a different move. I'm going to pull myself into one legged X, which maybe leads to another position. <coughs> um, or in this case, I, I initiate one legged X and then I sweep them and it leads to a position. Or I initiate one legged X, but then another circumstance, another situation happens they clear the foot, so I kick them forward, and then we go to this other position. <coughs> Off of uh, position one, maybe we go for this other move, which leads to another, leads to a new position. <coughs> Excuse me. Or we go for, or we're in this position, another situation happens, leads to a new position. And then we'll come here. And the only thing not on here is uh, a double square will be a submission. So this very quickly, rather than a mind map, which is just very generic and doesn't allow you to uh, really kind of quickly see. You can see quickly the positions that I'm looking to go from, you know, guard to the back or guard to mount or whatever. I was just see the positions uh, without getting lost in the moves and the contingencies or the, the uh, situations. But allows you to put these all down and make sense. And and some of our uh, I was working with one of our athletes recently, and he was struggling to like we were, and this is a, this is a challenge you run into. So like we're two black belts who are working on something we've never seen before. So two things are going on there. <clears throat> we're not only trying to troubleshoot. You know, we're both we're kind of cartographers <clears throat> we're getting a lay of the land we're seeing a map of the different situations that are occurring but then we're also on top of that creating a, a, a strategy for how to deal with it so just a regular mind map is a little tricky way to track it you don't and especially like one thing eddie bravo has done brilliantly uh is naming so many things uh the problem is that you know, because of the brilliant network he's created, he has he can create a shared language because he's he's got a million people to share it with. But most of us are not in that position and don't need that. We just need something for ourselves. But <clears throat> having a map of of these different situations is important. The positions and the situations that occur, and then your moves within that. Um, and unless you name everything, it's very difficult. But this this method of <clears throat> squares for positions, or rectangles for positions, circles for moves, double circles for situations, and then double squares for submissions, uh, allows you to kind of see everything very concisely. Um, and then you could apply this, so we've been making a few videos on game planning. You could apply this to <clears throat> um, a specific game plan, but the idea being <clears throat> that this can just allow you to map out whatever component of your game plan that you're working on right now. So in a perfect world, I'd map this out on the computer, but um, 
it was uh, this is probably the quickest way to show you I wouldn't want to delay the video so I hope that's helpful it's I know it's a bit of a abstract thing and maybe not the easiest thing to see because I'm not giving you concrete examples um, just the the basic idea but uh, it's been useful for me it's been useful for some of our athletes hope it's useful for you and we'll see you on the mats